Hi guys, it's Barry Davis with the Pastor's Helper. I'm coming to you on Monday morning, and I hope to give you a little bit of a word of encouragement or advice, or maybe a combination of the two. I know a lot of times on Monday morning it's tough for a minister. There are those rare times where you get up on Monday morning and you say, man, that was a fantastic service yesterday. Everything went well. Uh, You're celebrating and you're excited about the future. Unfortunately, oftentimes it's not that way. Something happened at church. Somebody chose to come up and maybe say something uh, nasty or inappropriate to you uh, right before you got up to preach or perhaps you came out of a meeting discouraged. There could be all kinds of things that happen. One thing I want to focus on just quickly this morning is what to do when you notice that somebody in your congregation is acting differently toward you than they were before. Perhaps they're giving you the cold shoulder. They're not talking to you. Or maybe when they do talk to you, they're not nearly as pleasant as they used to be. Here's my simple advice. You go up to that person and you ask them, is there something wrong? Just boldly walk up and ask. Do it nicely, but just go up and ask. I remember we had a lady in our congregation that I let this go. This is early in my ministry, and I'd let this go on for weeks. She'd been a very pleasant person, always came up to talk to me and greet me uh, every time that I saw her, and then all of a sudden that behavior changed. She would be walking down the hall of the church towards me, and I would notice her look the other way towards the wall as she walked by. If I said something to her, she'd act like she couldn't hear me that type of thing and it kept going on and finally I decided I'm just going to go up and I'm going to ask her what the problem is the next time I see her so that's what I did I just walked up where I was face to face with her and I said look Mary not a real name I said look Mary I've noticed that things just don't seem to be the same with us I get the feeling you're trying to avoid me is there something that I've done or said that's bothered you is there something going on in your life Uh, what is the problem and she proceeded to tell me she hesitated for a minute but then she laid it out and it really wasn't that big of a deal at least to me it didn't seem to be that big of a deal but I addressed it right there and then told her I would take care of it I did take care of it just like I'd promised her I would and everything was fine from that day on Now I realize it doesn't always go that smoothly, but a lot of the times, simply asking the person, what's wrong, is enough to move towards healing whatever has gone wrong in that relationship. So I'd encourage you to do the same thing. If you have those kind of people in your life, maybe you ran into some of them yesterday at church, then just ask them, either front, uh, face to face, next time you see them at church, or pick up the phone and call them and just say, I'm concerned because we've always had a good relationship and I wanted to make sure there weren't any problems. And you might be surprised what you find out. Sometimes there might be something you've actually done that you weren't aware of or you didn't know it bothered the person. Or sometimes you might find out that they're just the kind of people that are extremely sensitive and it wasn't really that big of a deal, but you can still deal with it. It will help you to know what is the situation and once you know what it is, you can take the steps to fix it if it needs fixing. Hopefully that's a little bit of encouragement to you today. Realize that no matter what's going on in your ministry, that God is still with you, that he cares about you, that he loves you, and he is working in you to make great things happen, whether you can see them right this moment or not. Again, I'm Barry Davis with the Pastor's Helper. Thanks for watching.